wanting this idea of, of a correction within asset prices and, and, and overall wealth, right? We want to bring that down, get that back down into some level of normality, which will help bring down inflation. But again, this is a, a problem the Fed caused itself by keeping interest rates at zero for way too long. Here's what you need to know before the bell. Markets have sold off now three days in a row. Futures are pointing lower this morning on the back of that commentary yesterday from Jerome Powell to the House Financial Services Committee talking about the need to hike rates a couple of more times here this year to, because inflation is not coming down. But that's just the reason, right? The markets need a reason to do something. And so this, this conversation yesterday from Jerome Powell, I'm sure we'll have some more of those comments today that's pressuring the markets here. But again, the market was due for a correction. We had had a really big run here. Markets were very overbought, three standard deviations above moving averages. We've talked about this on the show a couple of times, saying, hey, look, take some profits here. We're gonna get a correction. And so that's all that's happening here. This is not the end of the world. It's just simply the market's pulling back. We'll get a better entry opportunity. Our first level of support is 4270 on the S&P 500. That's where the 20 day moving average is. If we slip through that, you're going to be down to 4180. So right around 4200 by the time we get there, that's the 50 day moving average. That's probably going to give you a decent entry point to add some exposure to your portfolio. Um, we're not on a sell signal just yet, but we are very close. So today's activity, if the market's open down this morning, the Dow's down about 110 points. The Nasdaq's down about another 50, 60 points this morning. So again, that, sh that may be enough if we finish towards the lows of the day, uh, that may be enough pressure to actually flip the, the uh, sell signal back into place, suggesting that we might see a continuation of this correctional process. Doesn't mean every day is gonna be negative. We're gonna have some rally days in here, but looks like the market may start to try to work itself back down into a, a lower level to work off some of this overbought condition, or we will just see the market start one of these consolidations where the markets just kind of go sideways for a month or two, allow those moving averages to catch up. But nonetheless, it's gonna be probably a little bit choppy here over the course of the next couple of weeks, particularly if we trigger that sell signal. So again, just kind of keep watching your portfolio, make sure you're taking a little bit of profits, rebalance some of your risk, but that's what you need to know here before the bell.